Good morning. I am Zeel Patel, and the study uh, my topic is a study of management of non-critical hospitalized children with clinically suspected viral infections without the use of antimicrobials. Indoor patients, you mean? Yes, sir. Indoor, indoor patients without the use of antibiotics. Okay. The aims and objectives of my study are to know the percentage of clinically suspected viral infections among the non-critical hospitalized children. to study the clinical and laboratory patterns of viral infections in non critical hospitalized children to study the clinical course improvement or deterioration of viral infections in non critical hospitalized children without the use of antimicrobials and to study the impact of antibiotic stewardship strategy in reducing antibiotic usage in the pediatric general ward the percentage of children who were admitted among them the class uh, the group that was classified as clinically suspected viral infections was 56 percentage the pattern of fever that was studied in the uh, that was seen was high grade fever at onset regular in occurrence non sick child in the interfebrile period with a fair or good response to paracetamol and uh, progress on day 3 of admission was better Be uh, the patient was not worsening on day 3 The CBC in this uh, study population showed a normal leukocyte count in 71 percentage of patients, with eosinophilia seen in 100 percent of uh, patients, and platelet count was not commentable since uh, 12 percent showed thrombocytopenia and 22 showed thrombocytosis. The final diagnosis on discharge of children who were admitted with this uh, clinically suspected viral infections was 95.4 percentage were diagnosed to have viral infections and were treated without the use of antibiotics. and 4.6% of them were di were diagnosed to have some sort of bacterial infection and eventually were treated with uh, with antibiotics the outcome was all these patients were uh, of them 99% were discharged successfully there was 0% expiry noted and the rest 1% was either dama or epscon the antibiotic usage in the pediatrics ward before and after the antibiotic stewardship strategy excluding the covid year was seen that 3.79 times the number of admissions was the number of uh, antibiotic and or uh, ampules or vials were used which came down to 2.36 times the number of admissions after the implication of antibiotic stewardship strategy so my results are of the total 56 uh, total admissions 56% was classified under this clinically suspected viral infections it was found that viral fever pattern could be identified with basic investigations and observation of fever pattern in ward 95.4% were of patients who were discharged from the hospital without the use of antibiotics under this class and no expiry was noted in these patients and the use of antibiotics was significantly reduced i conclude from my study that the viral infections account for a big chunk of hospitalizations in non critical febrile illness most of which are usually self limiting and harmless it is possible to clinically suspect bacterial infections in most non critical febrile hospitalizations serious bacterial infections must be ruled out if few general principles are strictly uh, followed uh, uh, classically being the, uh, clinically fever being high grade at onset non sick end of febrile period regular occurrence good response to paracetamol and natural mm -hmm. improvement by third or fourth day of illness with mm -hmm. or without localization laboratory showed cbc with leukopenia with lymphocytosis and eosinophilia with or without thrombocytopenia it may to point towards a viral etiology mm -hmm. however the uh, total leukocyte count and differential count should not be interpreted in isolation without analyzing the clinical profile after the application of antibiotic stewardship strategy the use of antibiotics was reduced in wards and the study generates an evidence for rational use of antimicrobials even in hospitalized children as evidence based medicine continues to evolve and adapt we must strive to redefine our policies from time to time which will help us enhance our finis as clinicians thank you part i have only two questions antibiotic stewardship so you all are the torch bearers the future generation to push forward the stewardship program okay so only two questions why did you admit uh, viral fever who had low grade temperature and when did you perform cbc what was the day of performing cbc uh, ma'am cbc was performed at the time of admission itself uh, and the uh, the admission was based on low grade fever regardless of the duration of uh, uh, illness 
Yes, ma'am. Regardless of the duration for the study, we had we had taken CBC on the day of admission for all the. And why did you admit low grade fever? Ma'am, low grade fever. Um, the patient, the way mother characterized the uh, presentation at home, according to them, the fevers were very high. So uh, that way, the patients were admitted. As per mother, usually any, any we see symptoms? virals with any very other? high grade very temperature. Very high grade fevers, right? ma'am. The mothers usually, the way they described. Okay. Yeah, and then you found uh, it was low grade. Okay. So uh, uh, based on all those mother's findings that were presented, the presentation of the, the history that you the know one did. one say, saying is there in pediatrics that mother is always right. So why did you ca characterize or categorize that as low grade? We, as per mother's history, you considered it as a high grade fever. Then, then why you categorized it as low grade? After admission, the recorded they found low grade. that were seen, they okay. were uh, classified as okay. First day CBC, what's the value? In a viral fever, day one of fever, and I'm doing a CBC, it gives me a neutrophilic leukocytosis. Does it point towards it being a bacterial? Yes or no? Yes. First day of fever, CBC, you said CBC, you did every patient first day. It gives me leukocytosis, neutrophils. Is it a bacterial or still a viral? So day one of fever, we cannot comment. We cannot be very sure about it. Uh, day one CBC may not be. It cannot be. Uh, How many viral cultures or PCRs you did in the study? In the study, because of the lack of availability, we were not able to conduct a lot of PCRs. But uh, the patients who were seen to have critical, we, we were able to send a. Uh, critical, you did not. You did not uh, include. We did not include in the study. So. What is the cost of uh, viral? As I said, as I said, um, uh, we are we are son-in-laws of government. Everything is free for us in the government, isn't it? Jamaica, yeah, true.